Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching in the world. My name is Sean Driver and this is The Red Horde. The first video, Maiden video, there's been a lot of versions of it as we've been dealing with some tech issues, but that's neither here nor there. We are live, The Red Horde is being released, and so just making a video to get to know you guys, let you know who we're about, and uh, to hit, provide you the purpose, rationale for The Red Horde to go over maybe some of the goals and aspirations uh, and review some of the features about the website, the socials, and who we are. So, what is the Red Horde. Uh, the Red Horde is a decisively independent, uh, clearly unofficial website for Wrexham AFC. Uh, fly by the seat of your pants, off the cuff, come as it goes. That's sort of the intention here. Uh, came up with a, a crazy idea to start to try to connect fans. Um, thought about what sort of services I would like to see on a website um, and started to add those components to the website and it just sort of grew and grew and grew from there. It's been about six weeks in the process, but we have some features I'm excited about and I can hear what you're thinking. Why Red Horde? Um, what does it mean? Um, Horde, H-O-R-D-E, Horde, uh, meaning a multitude of people, uh, a large, maybe unorganized group of people. Horde seemed to make sense. Red Dragons being the nickname for Rex AFC. Uh, a dragon horde had connotations and in, in addition to that as a homonym horde h-o-a-r-d meaning to sort of amass a valuable objects a, a large amount of valuable objects or both of them work and so we went with it and it is now uh, the name uh, let me know what you think uh, probably not going to change it <laughs> it's the website everything's all there but uh, I'm all for constructive criticism so hit me with it um, the goals when it comes to the red horde is to connect fans. Uh, it, we have an international community of Wrexham fans and that is unquestionable. Uh, you look at some of the statistics coming out of the United States and Canada. Uh, I know of fan groups in Thailand, Australia, Brazil, all over the world. Then you've got Wrexham itself with the multitude of people who showed up uh, after the promotion, uh, the championship. And so it's been it's been a fun exercise to be a part of as far as streaming we've had uh, half a season's worth so still getting to know the players getting to know the community uh, we've got the documentary coming it's really piecemeal connections to the club through a number of different resources and and we're not going to uh, even attempt to replace those there are some exceptional content providers out there the details are on our website as well um, you should go out and check them out but we wanted to try to find a way to aggregate them and the way that we're going to do that hopefully provide some good content some articles some videos just like this so one of the couple of the features that are unique that we're hoping to to, to be able to provide uh, we're going to do some match day watch alongs I know from waking up at four o'clock in the morning seven o'clock in the morning sitting watching on a phone quietly by myself it'd be nice to have somebody to sort of interact with and so we intend to have an embedded chat that you should be able to see oh wrong side this side of the screen uh, all going through didn't doesn't matter what platform you're on you'll be able to take part chat with us we'll incorporate that might be able to even add some guests so we're looking forward to the match day watch alongs uh, a couple of other features uh, horde book i'll take you through some of the website things here shortly horde book basically as it sounds facebook it's a social networking uh, dynamic you can add your groups you can follow whether it's the documentary some specific players talking about the financing the regulations uh teams that we hate teams that we, other teams that we don't mind uh going through that sort of process geographically the the fans from Wrexham, thailand the fans from uh, brazil you'll be able to certainly connect there uh, and, and that's the whole plan so so just briefly here then on, on the website this is the horde book you can see my profile here uh, scroll through and it's got your standard stuff where you'll have the posts you'll have the opportunity to, to to write your own posts as well you can add friends you can do a whole bunch of things here I, I should mention um, N not a lot of groups have been set up sort of just driving it as people come through so feel free to, to to join add yourself add your friends add what topics you're interested in and and hopefully be able to connect that way one of the things that haven't been mentioned uh, we haven't mentioned yet to this point is uh, some of the statistics so we are going to have live up to the minute scoring available on the red horde um, last year uh, League 2 wasn't covered, nor was the National League. So Wrexham was only covered by our prov provider for the FA Cup. And, and just to give you an idea, you can see some of those statistics here. We're on the website. It's got uh, the, the FA Cup match against Sheffield. And so you can see 
the scores, who received the cards, what the details were, the match statistics sort of live as they go on. And then in addition to that, uh, we will have uh, league scoring now and league updates. Now, this is the table for the championship. Appreciate that there's a dis difference. Uh, league 2, again, didn't have the API. Uh, the providers have determined that they're going to be covering it next season. So we will have live up-to-the-minute scoring. So if you cannot follow along uh, and you cannot join the match day watch-alongs, you can always join the site and get up-to-date on the scores and as events happen. It'll uh, have the league scoring leaders, the assist leaders, the red cards, the team possession stats. All of that will be available on our site live. Um, and so feel free to check those out as we were talking to about other content providers we're not going to try to be the exclusive voice we can't be there there's some exceptional content out there you've got the official pages uh, you've got the work of Ian Roberts with trying to aggregate all of the fans around the world uh, and where they're located um, if you haven't been to Wrexham AFC archive um, uh, uh, too much information <laughs> uh, it's that uh, complete uh, programs results players red passion all, all these guys the podcasts the youtubers liam roberts go and check them out they're on the website by all means uh, it, they've got everything there we've got the men we've got the women and so that's just sort of a brief overview as to what we've got there we're excited about what we have um come and check us out uh, and that's really the message so there you have it. That's the website in a nutshell. We're going to just talk about sort of the vision, as it were. Um, the, the hope is that we can uh, connect the community. We've said that a couple of times. Uh, hopefully provide some content that's interesting. Maybe it might even be insightful. Uh, maybe you'll want to connect with it to object, to throw out criticisms. Let's, let's do that too. So Ryan and Rob, though, had this crazy dream, and they've discussed about it openly, and we'll put crazy in quotations. Um, for Wrexham to make the Premier League. And, and I don't think that that's that crazy. Luton Town certainly did it. It's, it's achievable. Uh, things seem to be on the right track. But hey, it's a journey and, and let's go for the ride. But if, if they're going to set that goal, I guess our goal is uh, we, we are going to monetize this website. You, there will be ads, uh, YouTube promotion, and all that sort of stuff. And hopefully we get to the point that we earn a little bit of cash back uh, through that. The intention being that a, a large portion of the money that is received is going to go right back into the club. And I like the idea of the fans powering the club. And as international fans, uh, we can do that by buying uh, jerseys when they become available, hats such as this, and we can support the club. But as far as your, your, your involvement, just following along, uh, clicking on ads, being a part of the hoard book, joining the watch alongs, all those sorts of things are sources to drive advertising revenue. And the intention being that we'll spend that ad, a chunk of that advertising revenue back to the club, hopefully into the academy. That would be really personally where my goal would be to put th those funds uh, to try to build this, the, the, the future for the club, the sustainability of the club. And, and I'm excited about that opportunity. Is it a crazy dream? Sure. Uh, it could just be me talking to this camera for an extended period. But I, I love the idea that we're, we're creating something uh, for the future, for Wrexham, uh, for the fans around the world that are there. And I hope you're along for the journey. So that's, that's the major goal. Um, what's to come? We're going to create some content here over the summer. Uh, call them snacks. I, I, I've been calling them hors d'oeuvres, uh, as cheesy and as punny as that may be. Uh, but basically, just an overview for the fans. Uh, there are some that don't understand relegation and promotion, so let's have a discussion about that. Uh, we'll go through who are the teams in League 2, um, who do we like, who do we not like. I'll put my initial vote out for Attendance FC. Uh, that's Bradford City. Um, I've got issues. We'll come up and talk about those in the future. It's uh, largely their fans. Uh, that's just the issue. Uh, not such a great greeting, and when that happens, you get a bad taste in your mouth. So, Bradford, yeah, you're uh, on the outs as far as... Uh, Friendly fire, as it were. Um, we're going to talk about some uh, in deep, in depth conversations about uh, sort of maybe some of the more boring topics, but I think I think they're interesting. Stuff like salary cost management protocol, which uh, is the League Two definition for financial fair play, and so we're going to include some of those details in there uh, and and go through those. Look, at the end of the day. Um, I'm hoping that you join some live chats. I'm hoping that you're interested in the videos. I, I'd like to think that you're around for the articles and there is a place for you here if you want to write the articles, if you want to be on some of the lives, if you want to do those sorts of things, send me a message. Let me know. Uh, we're wide open. I'm wide open. Let's figure out what we can do to build the Wrexham community together. Uh, I think we have the platform here to do it. L let's see what happens. Uh, I'm excited about it. Looking forward to celebrating what's going on in the future and not having to be uh, in my PJs at 4 o'clock in the morning but in something a little bit nicer. Uh, let's have some fun with this and uh, this is the Red Horde. Welcome. <laughs>